Many people's first instinct when there is an emergency may be to run and hide, especially when there is chaos and confusion all around. However, my father is not what, like normal people. He is the one who will run head first straight into fires, both physically, both metaphorically and literally. Today I want to talk, as someone who watches, who has um, observed my dad constantly, I've seen the hardships and struggles he's endured and also the values and um, the values and despite it all. Francis Matthew Morrissey is a man without fear and a man who values courage, honor, and family above all. And today I intend to pay tribute to the man who I constantly look up to and who constantly runs into danger and puts himself before others. So a little bit of background. My dad was born in, on January 28, 1972. He went to high school um, in Queens, and then he went to play football in college at um, St. John University in um, Holland, New York. Um, after that, he went and took the um, firefighter's exam on Jan in January of 1997 and passed and became a fully-fledged firefighter. Um, but his real bravery didn't show through until September 11, 2001. You see, that day my, my dad was faced with a choice. Um, he was at home with me and my um, mom, um, and he saw the news and had to make a choice about um, what to do. So he could, he decided he could either um, leave me, not even a year old, and my pregnant mother at home go into the city and help out with the rescue effort, or he could stay home and protect us. He decided to call my mom's uh, grandma, uh, my mom's father, my grandfather, and went in regardless. Um, he, um, he, I don't know if I would have been able to um, look at him in the same way if he had me in the uh, inverse. Um, in December of 2011, um, just before 10 years, he um, had the opportunity to save even more lives, um, specifically with bone marrow transplant um, for a 52-year-old um, man. And this was after being on a, uh, after uh, signing up for it in, um, over 15 years ago. And then in 2014, he passed the lieutenant's exam after hours and hours of studying and grueling um, Torture. He passed it. And he, became a lieutenant. he currently works in Harlem, um, where he is now leading other firefighters. And he's not in the field as much, but he is constantly teaching people and leading them. My dad has some very strong values, specifically about courage, honor, and above all, family. Um, back in um, last year, during the March Madness, my dad gave me this hat that has his firehouse on it, and um, basically wanted it as like a reminder for him out here. Um, so to do that, I wear it every day I can. Um, but um, my dad's life isn't always great. Um, he struggles with loss constantly from his fellow workers and firefighters due to illnesses related to September 11th or in the line of duty. Um, but despite it all, he continues to do it um, because he has a heart of steel and he absolutely loves it and would not trade it for anything else in the world. Um, in conclusion, um, Francis Matthew Morrissey is no ordinary man. He is no immortal or God to be worshipped. He is human with flaws and faults. Despite it all, he still goes to work every day and changes people's lives for the better. Um, a quote that I felt represented him and, his, and what he does every day is from the song Superheroes by the Scripts. And um, every day, every hour, to nothing, 